Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another video. And today we're going to be talking about traps and the best way to set up your defenses. So I've been doing a lot of testing with Blood Moon and I've been hearing a lot of requests. And a lot of people are talking about what is the best way to set up my defenses. Well, let me tell you right off the bat, there's really only one answer if you want an effective and efficient trap account that is strong on defense no matter what level you are. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a single type trap of archers. Archers are utilized because everyone is common with infantry. Archers have those leverage. Remember, this is like rock, paper, scissors. Something beats out something else. Archers beat infantry and everyone has a good, strong infantry march. The reason it isn't cavalry is because, well, the, art, the infantry would have leverage over the cavalry. Now, everyone doesn't really have a strong cavalry march per se because that's more of a late game item so that's why we're going to tend to stick towards archers it's going to be our bread and butter so that's why you need to focus on getting a strong archer march so let's go ahead and get into what makes up a strong single type trap now keep in mind i am not a single type trap as you can see i have 88 million troops that is in no way shape or form a single type trap so let's go ahead look into it all and look at what we need to do. So starting off, we start off at our T3s. Now to be a single type trap, you're focusing on only one troop type. So we're focusing archers. When we're at T3s, we need to have at least 10 million T3 archers. I have 2 million here, but I have a spread. Ignore everything else. You want nothing else except for those T3 archers. It is okay to have some siege because siege has leverage over everything, but you don't want to have a lot of numbers of them. Keep in mind, our gear is going to be focusing on archers. So by having anything else, those troops are just going to be quick, easy deaths. So if you want to cap your enemy, you need to have strong, heavy numbers in only your single type. Now, we move up to T4s. When we move up to T4s, we want at least one-third of our 10 million or higher T3s to be our T4 archers. So let's say we have 10 million T3 archers. We want at least... 3 million t4 archers now what we also want to do is we want to have the counter equivalent for t4s so what counters archers cavalry counters archers so we need to think if someone is trying to counter our archers by sending cavalry we need to utilize infantry to defend our archers because our archers are going to be at a disadvantage because they're going to have a negative leverage the enemy is going to be sending in cavalry, which is going to do a lot of damage to our archers. So we have infantry to help defend. So that's why we'll see that we want at least 3 million T4 infantry and T4 archers. So 3 million each. 3 million T4 infantry, 3 million T4 archers. As we move up to T5s now, we'll want to have just a regular old spread. This is going to be troops that we're going to be utilizing for attacking. Just normal, whatever spread you need in order to have offensive marches and if you have t6s fantastic do it up you'll notice i don't really have any t6s i don't have any t7s because they're all waiting in con and domination for me so again i am not a single type archer trap but you can see i do tend to focus a lot of troops on that because i do switch back and forth however when i switch out of my regular uh defensive type where I utilize Majestic and Guardian, I'm putting myself at a disadvantage by having a high number of all these other troops. So single type traps, they only have one type outside of all the troops necessary for attacking and those T4 counters. Now, the stronger you are, the higher amounts you're going to need in order to cap your enemy's defenses, as well as just higher amounts in general and higher tiers. So let's go ahead and take a look at our heroes so let's take a look here at infidus infidus has my outcry my outcry is my strongest archer troop stats so i have outcry and i also have destroyer destroyer and outcry are both your archer stats my outcry is stronger than my destroyer so i'm going to point infidus as my guard captain so i'm going to just show this to you i'm going to just take out my guard captain and my deputy just to show this all to you so you can see exactly what you need to do appoint your guard captain 
as your strongest archer hero. Then your guard deputy is going to be your strongest troop hero. So we're looking here for troop hero as in our majestic or our guardian. So my majestic is stronger than my guardian so because it's plus 15 on my majestic. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to appoint my majestic hero as my guard deputy. So now I have guard captain and I have my guard deputy and now I'm a single type trap. How do I get better? How do I get stronger? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what else we can do. So now the biggest tiebreakers that are going to assist us are going to be building enhancements. So specifically speaking, we need to focus on increasing the leverage that our archers do against infantry. And we can do this in deep into troop training. We can go into troop training. And we can see that our leverage archer damage increase, we can get an extra 200%. Now this is good if one, you're trying to counter a person who is a single type trap, or two, you're a single type trap and you want just extra stats to help you out. So we can do that. Building enhancement wise, we wanna focus on our warehouse, our command center, our wall, and our archer building. So if we take a look at our wall, this is good for two things. One, we can see that it has enemy archer leverage attack debuff. So if I'm a cavalry guy and I'm trying to counter a single type archer uh, castle, I want to have a strong wall enhancement level. But you'll also want that strong wall enhancement level as a single type archer trap because that single type archer trap, it does have other archer stats. Now if we take a look at our warehouse, this is going to be a cavalry, enemy cavalry leverage attack debuff. This is what single type archer traps want to focus on because this is going to help lower the ability for those cavalry marches from your enemy to do a lot of damage. And again, warehouse, command center, wall, and your archer building are the buildings you want to focus on in those enhancements. Let's go ahead and take a look now at some of our battle reports against a single type archer trap. So here, we can see that I won a battle against a single type archer trap. This guy has 25 million plus troops. I came in with 1.4 million. I lost 1.1 million. He lost 11, he lost 12 million essentially. But if we take a look at the details, we can see one, he isn't a true single type trap. He has all these other troops and you can see these traps are dying they instantly die. So he has all these T3 infantry, all these T4 infantry, but he has archer stats. So he's allowing all of his troops to die. So if he were to get rid of these T3s and those T4s, he would be much better off. I was sending a counter. I was sending my cavalry march. And you can see though, I was not able to get past his T4s. And he never lost more than T3s and T4s. So while his power loss was 91 million he actually won this battle because i did not truly cap him i did not get past his t4s i didn't get into his t5s so keep this in mind now if we go and take a look on the other hand at someone who is just a regular siege type trap as you can see he doesn't have any stats on cavalry archers or infantry i walked right through all of his troops and I killed everything. So it makes a huge difference. So if you have other troops that are not connected to what I listed out for necessary as a single type archer trap, they will die and it will cost you. If you want to cap your enemy's marches, you need to follow this formula. Thank you all for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cam Cowboy. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to reach out to me if you want to get into the Iron Throne playtest.